Hi YouTube, I just wanted to show you and talk to you a little bit about Dior's Christmas uh, or Holiday 2013 collection. I've made two purchases, uh, it looks like a lot more, um, but I'll explain in a moment from this year's collection that I wanted to share because um, I'm really, really impressed and excited by the items that I bought and I do think um, it's a beautiful collection. Over here in the UK, most of the Christmas or holiday collections are not really out at the moment. Um, Dior is only showing certainly the full holiday collection at the moment at Selfridges as an exclusive, but you can buy online at Selfridges and they do ship overseas. Obviously in the United States, um, you've got much wider um, distribution of this collection already. And um, so far as competing with the other premium brands, I don't think the Chanel holiday collection is available anywhere in the UK yet, although I know that it is in the rest of mainline, mainland uh, Europe. So it's all a bit patchy at the moment, but definitely so far as I'm concerned, Dior have um, struck first. And um, because I've made purchases from that collection, it'll kind of limit, I hope, uh, what I buy from the other ones, although obviously, you know, I'm a sucker for Chanel as well. Um, but anyway, to the collection. Um, first of all, there are two I, um, quints, and both of them are absolutely beautiful. They are called Golden Flower and Golden Snow, and I picked Golden Snow Golden Flower is the um, more everyday version of this one, I would say. They are both beautiful palettes, and I was tempted by both of them. And I know from reading and looking online, you see my coffee cup in the back there, um, a lot of people have gone for um, the less glittery palette, which is Golden Flower. But I just thought this was a remarkable palette, and I'm really pleased with it. You get um, a basic, and all these shadows are beautifully buttery soft, um, pinky toned highlighter, which is the least impressive shade. Then two beautiful everyday shades. This taupe down here, um, you know I'm a fan of taupe, and this is just beautiful. It's got a definite on me lilac-y sheen. It goes on like a dream. Once it's there, it lasts. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful colour. And although um, I'm not generally keen on darker colours, I don't wear deep smoky eyes, this darker shade here is also beautiful because you can um, put it on... Um, with a light brush to give that very pretty silvery grey sheen or you can and I've been using it to line and pack on um, it's really really blendable you can build it up it looks different in different lights it's looking very grey there it can almost look navy in some lights so those two shades in particular do a really beautiful perfectly work appropriate day look now, the addition for me that made me buy this one rather than the other one, which has a, a, a slightly less glittery silver, I believe, and then a more um, neutral gold, are these two, frankly, glittery shades. Now, this one here is the gold, um, and it is super gold. Um, it's not even showing the full payoff on camera there. Um, it's a definite party shade, but it's really, really nice. And then this one in the middle is similarly a silver. Um, and I know a lot of people, that if anything, is looking stronger than the gold. Um, in reality, they're not. They're pretty equal. I've actually worn the silver in the day, just dabbing a little tiny bit on the waterline and in the corner of my eye um, as a brightener. But it is definitely also a beautiful party shade. It reminds me a little bit of the Chanel Delusion d'Ombre in Fantasme, which I bought and um, hardly wore before it dried out. Um, and that felt 
because it was something to cover the whole lid, a very kind of disco type silver. Um, but this to me um, makes the perfect palette if you just want to take one thing away when you're going away on holiday because you've got colours there that you can definitely use during the day and then these two really exceptional bright glittery colours with I should add not too much fallout I won't say there isn't any because there is a little bit uh, on a full evening's wear but nothing too brutal um, so you've got those to add for the evening I, I think it's a really really beautiful um, quint and uh, I'm really pleased I got it um, that the quality of the shadows as ever um, very very good now, the other thing I picked up was one of the nail varnishes. Surprise, surprise. I'm wearing it at the moment. It's not showing particularly brilliantly there. It just looks like a, a dark colour. It's um, a dark plum mauve with, I think you can see there, the um, lovely gold shimmer, which isn't glittery. It is a real shimmer that adds, when you put it on the nails, more a... A shine so it looks like a high shine rather than individual particles until you look really close up and you can definitely see the particles of gold it's a really really beautiful um, shade this one's called Minui and um, it's definitely one for this year and it's a real standout to me now I will say although I love the packaging they look like pretty little Christmas ornaments they did this last year and in fact what you see the other ones are from last year's connection collection that I'm going to show you in a minute for a reason. Um, now I'm told I haven't applied this nail varnish myself I had it done by my um, lady in the, the manicure shop and she found it really difficult to apply because the brush is both quite thick and more importantly has a very short stem which she found quite awkward. Now I haven't done it myself so I don't know. Um, We'll see, but that might be the sort of downside. So far, it's Monday, and uh, this was applied on Saturday morning, so it's wearing pretty well um, so far. Um, now, there are a number of other shades in the collection this year. There is um, one that is very similar to this one from last year. This one from last year, can I see what it was called? Deerling, which is a sort of goldy one. Um, it's slightly lighter this year, I would say. Um, then they also have um, a pale colour with, or maybe I'm getting them wrong, there's a pale colour separately and the goldy one is sold with tiny little beads that you stick on to give texture. I didn't really like very much. So there are two that are very similar to that. I don't know if it's formally part of their winter collection, but this one, which is Marilyn from last year, was certainly being re-promoted in Selfridges with the... Um, the Christmas collection um, although it didn't look that way in the promo pictures but they've definitely got it there and you can buy it and this is a gorgeous um, you know really standard Marilyn red um, that I wore a little bit last year the missing one is this um, black one which I guess is just like Minui only it was black last year with the shimmer this year it's the plum um, which is perhaps a bit more versatile than, than black but um, the, the, some gorgeous colours there's also a very deep um, pinky red uh, a cerise type pink red as well which I might go back and buy and then they've also got the lipsticks in the very pretty um, Diorific um, capsules uh, this one again is from last year and is Lady which they were re-promoting in Selfridges they have about five shades. Most of them were very, very similar. There were two in particular that were a red like this, and I really could barely tell the difference between them. Um, they're nice formulations, and um, I'm not quite as fond of them as the um, Chanel Rouge Allure. Similar consistency, kind of velvet with a bit more slippiness, perhaps, than... Um, the Rouge Allure, but I prefer Rouge Allure on the lips, but beautiful packaging. So definitely a collection worth looking at. I think that the eyeshadow palettes are outstanding. They're pricey, but um, they're really good quality and really a selection of colours, all of which 
I can see myself wearing and I think most people would be able to wear rather than having one or two standouts and the rest being a bit mm. so that was my Dior holiday purchases and I'll see you all soon bye for now